fellow patriots serving you up with nothing but USDA Prime common sense. We should put a stamp on that. Y'all, we got front row seats to the freak show today. And it's like we're living in a Saturday night live skit. Except no one's laughing. I mean, even at this point, Edward Snowden is looking over from Russia like, hey guys, no, I'm I'm good over here. I'll just I'll stay. <laughs> no pardon needed. I'll just stay. We did a Bernie Sanders um meme because I had to get on that. I had to get in on that. He's sitting on my tailgate. We put a Pat's Blue Ribbon in the man's hand, all right? It was glorious. But speaking of a Bernie Sanders commercial, and this ain't funny at all. Um, I saw a commercial. I guess it aired last uh, year, but the commercial was talking about freedom, okay? It had a bunch of people that came on, and it said, what is freedom, right? And it said, am I free if I've got $300,000 in student loans? Am I free if I've got high health care costs? Am I free if I'm working a dead-end job? Am I free if I don't have the money to retire, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down the list? And the video was actually saying, no, I'm not free. If I've got these challenges, if I've got these problems, <laughs> they're actually saying they don't have freedom. What are you talking about? Anybody with an ounce of common sense is going to say, look at that situation and go, yeah, that situation does suck. Um, and, and it's, I, I'm so sorry that you've got challenges, poor baby. Okay, but nobody's stopping you from living your life. Nobody's stopping you from going to the school you want to go to, going to the job you want to go to, living where you want to, shopping where you want to shop, working out where you want to work, whatever. All the way down. Nobody's stopping you from your basic freedoms. You have challenges, poor baby. Okay, but nobody took away your freedom. It sounds like the guy in high school. We're going to call him Stefan. Stefan asks out the most popular girl in high school. She rejects him. Shocker. And then Stefan is now a Bernie supporter because she rejected him. And that's proof that we don't live in a free country anymore. <laughs> no, Stefan. That's proof that you're a stage four clinger with a man bun. She went to prom with a good old boy that played baseball and drove an 87 square body. Right? He dropped her off early, but he didn't go home. These people never got the life isn't fair talk, did they? It's the government preying on people who are in a hard spot, and they're twisting the hell out of their circumstances saying, these people who grew businesses bigger than yours, they're the problem. These people who succeed when you don't, they're the enemy. They're actually saying, in my opinion, <laughs> that freedom is the ability to not have any responsibilities. That freedom is the ability to not have any stress. I mean, what kind of sick utopia did you think you were born into? That ain't the way America works. It never has been. This is way, way deeper, y'all, than I don't want to pay higher taxes. They're trying to reprogram their supporters. You're the victim. Only we can save you. Come to us, almighty government, right? Now, does this mean that people who have had a whole lot of success should not reach down and grab the hand of somebody who is in a lowly position and help them up? Of course they should, but it should be a private thing. Proverbs 19, seven, whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord and he will repay him for his deeds. So there's obviously incentive to help people who need to be helped along, but we don't just give it to you. In socialism, there's a reward for doing absolutely nothing while there's no incentive at all to succeed past a certain point. Just do the minimum, right? Free stuff, that's what we're after. <laughs> Y'all, I'm completely surprised and blown away still that so many people lived through 2020 and concluded, the government cares deeply about me <laughs> and they should have more control over my life. My granddad would always say, socialism is like hemorrhoids. They come on unexpectedly Real quiet the night, <laughs> and it gets to be a bigger and bigger problem until you deal with them. Oh my gosh, God bless you. Go work hard, make the day count. Taxes are getting higher.